focus on that and the principle, then you'll find ways to apply the technique from various positions, which keeps me out of the reach of his weapon. Okay, right at my elbow joint. I have to be disengaging from here. You do it with some good speed, some good aggressive violent action, and the element of surprise. It's just the feet that have changed. Yeah. Okay. And then from here, hitting with the pommel. Now I can transition to a two hand shooting platform. So I gotta practice stepping in. I'm gonna go through and he'll bring that out from underneath him. I'm always keeping myself covered and protected. The secondary impact as that baton hits my head. The energy is gonna come against my grip and potentially pop that out of my hand. But I can get subtle angles here and get further away from his right hand. Which one I will use depends on maybe environmental factors. Break the spring tension, give it a pull to lock it. Slow and control. It's open and then I can go straight into a strike straight after that. Whenever I do stuff with this arm, I'm open to that hand. Limit the amount of techniques that your go-to techniques because the more that you have, again, Hicks Law, the less likely to use any of them. I have a weapon on my hip. I'm trying to get out Demonstrating how to actually open it. Flicking in the wrist. And I use the index finger. Two things going on here. Hold that into the hand. But things happen, you know, fights are chaotic. Two. Down. An arm drag. Be cognizant of where his hand is going. The more complex these techniques become, the less likely you're going to be able to use them in a real situation under stress. If I was doing this from a standing position, now action versus reaction, this kind of got the drop on me. He gets my baton, clinch range, then one. That can happen in many ways. Extra leverage here. Control distance. I'm coming through here. Again, I can straighten it out. I don't know what punch is going to throw. If I manipulate the weapon, close to the body, so I'm trying to be very high profile as I do this. Truly transition, I don't want to leave it here. Step through, thrusting out, I move in here without bringing any attention to myself. As I take that out, I'm in a building and the ceilings are quite low. And get that baton out. I don't want to bring his hand to my gun. To the full sleeve, 45 degree body position. Okay, and just shoot with my right hand. I need to make sure that I've created the window of opportunity and I'm not going to create vulnerabilities as I do 